in a momentous leap towards enhancing the versatility and interoperability of the blockchain landscape, a pivotal proposal has recently achieved a resounding consensus within the Terra community. This proposal, heralding the re-enabling of Terra Luna Classic's inter-blockchain communication capabilities to the Cosmos chain, marks a significant stride towards expanding the horizons of decentralized technology. The overwhelming support for this forward-looking initiative exemplifies the community's steadfast dedication to pushing the boundaries of innovation and fostering a more connected blockchain ecosystem. Welcome to Crypto Millionaire, your source for the latest content on crypto. Make sure to watch the entire video and hit the like button if you're interested in more insightful content. Subscribe to my Telegram channel. There I post shocking crypto news daily. The community has unanimously voted in favor of a proposal to re-enable inter-blockchain communication transfers between Crescent and Terra Luna Classic. Professor Edward Kim earlier announced the reopening IBCs for Osmosis, Crescent and Juno that were disabled during the May 2022 Terra Luna crisis. Proposal 271 Re-enable IBC Client to Terra Classic is passed by the community to re-enable IBC transfers between Crescent and Terra Luna Classic. Crescent Network is a Cosmos app chain that provides multi-chain asset exchange and capital-efficient liquidity incentivization. The proposal has surpassed the pass threshold amid the community's major support to the proposal. It received 99.98% votes in favor, while only 0.02% voted against the proposal. Edward Kim earlier said it is necessary due to continuous changes in the Cosmos ecosystem and the testing required to reach parity with the Cosmos ecosystem. Also, it allows trapped assets to flow through the channels. That's not the end. Don't forget to subscribe. In the ever-fluctuating landscape of the cryptocurrency market, significant shifts are known to redefine the contours of investor sentiment and industry dynamics. A recent development of note has been the decline in market capitalization for Terra Luna Classic, a cornerstone project within the blockchain ecosystem. As the market cap dips below the $500 million mark, the crypto community finds itself at a juncture where exploration, analysis, and adaptability are paramount. Terra Luna Classic is a blockchain-based protocol that uses the LUNC token and a few other fiat-pegged stablecoins to make global payments in its price-stable ecosystem. The market value of Terra Luna Classic dipped by 0.5% between July 27th and July 28, 2023, after a 6% price reduction the week prior. This plunge marked an unimpressive performance for the LUNC token, which has been facing a steady decline of 43% since January, while the soon-to-be-launched Digitodes receives mainstream attention in the DeFi market. As a result of its continuous price decrease, the market capitalization of the Lunsi coin dipped below $500 million in late July 2023 for the first time since September 2022. This dip has created a negative future outlook for the Terra Luna Classic platform, as renowned crypto analysts do not foresee a positive trend. The Luency token hopes the recent Terra Classic USD repeg news will influence its recovery in August 2023. Let's talk about Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency in the world. Bitcoin could affect the price of Terra Luna Classic, so we have to know everything. In the dynamic realm of cryptocurrency, where market sentiment is often driven by a fusion of technological innovation, global events, and investor psychology, recent developments have cast a spotlight on Bitcoin's trajectory. The resounding echo of a US rating downgrade has reverberated through the market, prompting Bitcoin bulls to recalibrate their strategies and rally behind a renewed goal, a return to the $30,000 mark. This morning, BTC was down 0.12% to $29,506. A range-bound start to the day saw BTC rise to an early high of $29,584 before falling to a low of $29,482. The daily chart showed BTC USD sitting below the dollar, $30,750-$31,250 resistance band. However, BTC sat above the 50-day and 200-day EMAs, sending bullish near- and longer-term price signals. Notably, the 50-day EMA widened from the 200-day EMA, signaling further gains. 
Looking at the 14 daily RSI, the 47.59 reading reflects bearish sentiment. The RSI signals a fall through the 50-day EMA to bring sub dollar 28,500 and the dollar 27,500, dollar 26,850 support band into view. However, a hold above the 50-day EMA would give the bulls a run at the dollar 30,750, dollar 31,250 resistance band. Looking at the four-hourly chart, BTC remains below the $30,750, $31,250 resistance band. However, BTC sits above the 50-day EMA while remaining below the 200-day EMA EMAs, sending bullish near-term but bearish longer-term price signals. Significantly, the 50-day EMA narrowed on the 200-day EMA, supporting further gains. A move through the 200-day EMA would give the bulls a run at the dollar $30,750-$31,250 resistance band. However, a fall through the 50-day EMA would bring sub-dollar $28,500 and the dollar $27,500-$26,850 support band into view. The 14.4 HRSI reading of 54.04 indicates a bullish stance with buying pressure outweighing selling pressure. Significantly, the RSI aligns with the 50-day EMA, signaling a return to $30,000. BTC bucked the broader market trend for a second session on Friday. This week, Fitch ratings downgraded the US sovereign rating from AAA to AA+. In recent months, the BTC-NASDAQ composite index correlation has weakened limiting the impact of the U.S. ratings downgrade on BTC. While BTC saw green for the second consecutive session, the NASDAQ Composite Index extended the losing streak to four sessions on Friday, falling by 0.36%. The weakening correlation could see increased demand for BTC as sentiment across the traditional asset classes turned bearish. Price action over the weekend will likely dictate the near-term outlook. Approvals of the spot BTC ETFs would be a step in the right direction as the broader crypto market struggles with uncertainty surrounding the Judge Torres court ruling. It is a quiet start to the weekend, leaving investors to consider the crypto events of the week. Scrutiny of the Judge Torres court ruling failed to drag BTC into the red on Friday. Rising bets on an SEC appeal may not impact BTC directly, with the SEC leaving BTC outside the security basket. However, an SEC appeal of the Judge Torres ruling would leave the U.S. digital asset space in more disarray without U.S. lawmaker legislation to end the SEC regulation by enforcement mantra. However, investors should continue to monitor the crypto news wires. SEC v. Ripple and SEC v. Terraform Lab chatter, ETF updates, and Binance and Coinbase-related news will move the dial. What do you think of it? What's your predictions? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Also, don't forget about Daily Giveaway, where you can win 50,000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like and leave a comment. Hash Terra Luna. Things are gonna get real flashy.